Oh, this is awesome. I just found so many diamonds. Yes? Oh, it's a patient. Uh, I need to answer you could ask them to wait a second because I just found these diamonds and I've been in these caves for forever. No? Okay, I mean, that's fine. I guess you can send them in. Some people just have no respect for other people's time. Oh, it's okay. Just let me see if quit. No big deal. Alright, send them in. Send them in. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nico and I'll be your doctor today. I guess because my coworkers all called out sick. I hate this place. But you can just take a seat right on the bed behind me. Yeah, yeah. Just scoot on up there. You can do it. Yeah. Okay, so what brings you into the doctors today? Because, you know, since I'm a professional, sometimes I can tell. You know, like what? brings people in. As an example, if someone's limping in here and their leg looks broken, I'll be like, oh man, their leg's broken. That sucks. You know, and then we go from there. Same thing with like a broken arm or if they've got, you know, a stab wound. If there's a knife in them somewhere, I could be like, oh, it's a stab wound. Stab wound. Yeah. But you don't really seem to have any broken bones or no stab wounds that I can see. So what exactly is your problem? Mm. Okay, so you don't really know specifically, but you've been feeling kind of off. Well, if you know, I'm not supposed to know. Um, okay, uh, alright, I guess we'll start by getting you some more, some more information about, about that. That's pretty... That's pretty vague, you know, not, you don't have anything else that I can, that I can work with besides just, just feeling off. Okay. Your stomach kind of hurts. Okay, I mean, no offense, but if I went to the doctor every time my stomach hurt, I would never leave. <sighs> I'm not joking. Um, so yeah, that doesn't really help me. I think stomach hurting can be a symptom for about every single disease out there. Ah, oh, that's fine. Um, did you Google your symptoms? I always recommend people Google their symptoms. You did, but it didn't really help. Okay. Okay. Alright. So I guess, I guess I gotta do some uh, investigating. That's fine. I, I wasn't... Okay, so let's start with some really basic, some really basic stuff here. I know you can do this. First name, last name. First name, last name. What is your first name? What is your last name? Okay. And you're sure that's correct? Okay. Okay. Uh, when is your birthday? And that seems like something a Gemini would say, but, you know, I'm not really sure. Okay, and uh, like I was saying before, when did you start to feel off? Uh, okay. Recently, okay, can you get a little more specific than regular? What does that mean? Does that mean two days? Does that mean a week? Does that mean a month? I'm the type of person that says recently, and it could be anywhere from a year to ten. Okay, alright, so the past week, okay, and besides your stomach hurting, have there been any other notable symptoms? Okay, sometimes you get headaches. Okay, and when you get these headaches, what do you do? Do you suffer in silence? Do you take some leave? I'm a big fan of a leave. Do you, do you know? No, if you don't take a little of ibuprofen, there's my ibuprofen. No ibuprofen either. Oh man, that's, that's, that's no way to live. 
Uh, if nothing else, please take away from this appointment that I highly recommend. Aleve and ibuprofen, they solve most things. They help you feel a little better, but okay. So uh, what I'm getting from this is that you've been suffering from uh, stomach hurt and head hurt. Is that correct? Okay, we're making a lot of progress. Unfortunately, like I said, stomach hurt is a very common symptom. Have you been experiencing any stress or anxiety lately that can lead to some physical symptoms as well? Yes. Ha ha ha. Who hasn't? Am I right? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, but um, are, are they like serious issues or... Okay. Have you tried yoga? No, I... No, even no yoga. Damn. Play video games. Have you considered that that's the source of your problems? Have you considered that that's the source of your stress? No? What kind of games do you play? If you say FPS, just walk out of this room right now because that's what's causing your stomach ache and your headache. It's FPS. No? Okay. Alright. Alright. So, oh, we gotta investigate. Okay. Alright. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so let's put some gloves on so we can uh, shift into serious doctor mode. Since you don't really know what the problem is, and I don't really know what the problem is, we're just gonna do some general exam. We're just gonna check you over, and hopefully uh, one of us will be able to come to some kind of conclusion. Right? Either me or you. Alright, I'm just putting some gloves on because I don't want to sounded weird. I don't think the term is raw. That sounds like, that sounds like, it's like chicken meat or it's like, I don't want to touch your raw. No, I just, I don't want to be like touching that. No, I, why can't I get this on? I also forgot my white coat today. But you know, I still have a very, very professional, mature doctor or about me, right? Yes, I have a very mature You kind of hesitated. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. I guess we'll start by... I mean, you look fine, but we're gonna take your temperature anyway, because I feel like you should do that. Okay, stay still. Just start turning this on. Oh, let's see. Okay. Just gonna... That that seems incorrect. We're gonna we're gonna do this side too. Ooh, okay. Actually, this thermometer seems to only read in Celsius, and I'm American. So when you're American, you get you know assigned at birth that you're only gonna understand Fahrenheit, and you can't understand Celsius. Thirty-two seems a bit high. That that seems. Mm. Nah, it's fine. Okay, let's see. Where did my notebook go? Uh, okay. Temperature 32 degrees Celsius. Nice and hot. I think it's better to be hot. I would, I would say that. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna get your height, just a baseline for your height. I feel like that's a good thing to do. Stay still, please. office we actually don't have the thing that's on the wall that most doctors have i just have this tape measure so um yeah it can only go my arm span so let's um all right so this is 37 inches you look a little taller than that okay so we're going to write Height greater than 37 inches. Great, that's really good to know. 
we don't have a scale, and I mean, I don't think I can lift you. So we're just gonna say, weight, probably greater than 100 pounds. Nice, okay. Continuing on. Um, yeah, see, I'm not really like an internal medicine a doctor. So if your stomach does hurt, I just don't really know like what I personally can do about that. I might have to write you a referral, but no, while we're here, let, let's just test some other stuff. Let's see, have you been having any trouble hearing lately? No. Okay. Uh, are you sure? Like, are you positive you haven't had any trouble hearing? Okay, um, while we're here, let's just test it. I'm pretty confident in that test, actually. <laughs> so we're just gonna first look in your ears. Let's see. This is actually my favorite test to do, so I wish to encourage that my patients do it, even if uh, they seem fine otherwise. I'm just gonna look in your ears. Nobody really has anything like super wrong internally with their ears. At least not that I've ever seen. Well, just a little cleaning while you're here. So, in the meantime, what brought you to our lovely clinic over here? Hmm. Desperation. I see. No other places were open today and out of Here, we're very efficient. That's because we don't really have that many customers. No. When we opened, there were lots of people that came to see us, but... Salary, so it doesn't really matter to me whether people come in or not. Yeah, and sometimes even when people come in, they request like not to see me. Yeah, I don't really take it personally though. Not many people can understand my beautiful mind, and it gives me more time to play Minecraft on the clock. the pointy side now. Ah, uh, this isn't hurting you, right? A little bit. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not uh, ideal. Ideally, this would not be hurting you. Your ears look considerably cleaner than before, not that that really has anything to do with the rest of the exam. Now it's just a little freebie in there. <laughs> Alright, so I said we were going to do a hearing test, right? I just wanted to make sure we had a good baseline that your ears were very, you know, empty and there wasn't anything, you know, clogging up the canals in there. So now we're going to do the test, okay? Um, how many tests do you want? Okay, I, I, 
Okay, so first we're gonna start with the right left test. So I'm gonna ask you which side I'm making noise on, okay? And you're gonna tell me the left or the right. Was that the left or was that the right? It sounded like both. Oh, I, I, I forgot to pick a side. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, three, two, one. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to pick a side again. Okay, <clears throat> three, two, one. And... Very good, very good. All right, one more time. Three, two, one. Very good. All right, so I'm going to write in here. Patient understands left and right. questions during the exam. Yeah. Do you have a question? See, just saying that your stomach hurts, that's not really a question. Uh, we do take questions, but we don't really take comments. Yeah, see, that was kind of a comment. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, I do have some relief. Let's see. Yep, I have a leave right here. You know, I'm kind of getting a headache. I might take one of these, actually. <laughs> you don't mind, right? Just... Oh, man, I only have three left. Oh, God, this sucks. Um, but since I'm very nice, I will give you an leave if you want one. That should help your stomach. No? Okay. You think it's, like, a little more serious than, than something that a leave would require? Oh, my God. You don't have appendicitis, right? Oh, God, that would be so bad. Um, okay, so appendicitis. Oh, what was that again? Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm going to take the gloves off for a second. Hang on. We got, we got it to the bottom of this. If you have appendicitis, that would be actually extremely bad. I think your appendix would explode. That would be disgusting. Well, no, I think I think it explodes like in, inside you. Okay, I don't know how it works. Sorry. Maybe it explodes. Maybe it's like it bursts. Okay, wait. What? Hang on. I got them in my Minecraft. What is a pen appendicitis? What is appendicitis? That's not how you spell a pen. A pen appendicitis. Appendicitis is an inflammation of the appendix. Great. That's nice. The appendix is a finger-shaped pouch that sticks up from the colon on the lower right side of the belly, also called the abdomen. Appendicitis causes pain in the lower right part of the belly. Okay, so, um, is the pain in the lower right part of your belly? The lower right part? We just went over this. No, okay, so the pain is more concentrated. Oh, thank God, that'd be so awkward if you had appendicitis. <laughs> What is appendicitis caused by various infections? Oh god, what if you have an infection? Um, yeah, that doesn't really have anything to do with the exam that we're currently conducting, so hang on, I'm just gonna put this a leave away. Are you sure you don't want one? Okay, I have two left. I'm very generous with my leave, you know? If my patients are suffering, I just can't stand that. If there's anything I can do, I always want to help, okay? Mm hmm okay. Okay, so as the next part of the hearing test, I have a tuning fork, okay? I'm gonna smack it really loud, okay? Do you hear that? Yeah, it's on the other side. It, it's hard to hear when I'm talking. Okay, sorry. Or much to that again, because I, I, think, I think I might have interfered a little bit with the test. Tuning fork, though, right? Okay, one, one more time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that concludes the tuning fork. You, you did hear that, right? Okay, we're gonna write in this notebook. Let's see, what are we gonna write this time? Patient can hear forks. Nice, okay. Continuing on, uh, what else should we test? I mean, like I said, I really can't, I can't really address the elephant in the room, which is your very, um, painful stomach. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that. So, while we're here, how about I test your eyesight? Yeah, what do you think? Okay, alright, so we're gonna do this really fun thing that I like to call follow the light. So I'm gonna dim the lights a little bit. Okay, so I dim the lights. So now I'm gonna bring out a light, okay? And I'm gonna move the light probably for about a minute, okay? And I want you to not move your head and I want you to just follow the light with your eyeballs only, only with your eyeballs, okay? No moving your head. Okay, you ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. This might be the last cause. <laughs> Alright, last 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, last chance to just move your eyes, just move your eyeballs, 7, 6, it would be really happy if you just moved your eyeballs, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. your eyeballs so that you clearly have trouble moving because I'm gonna put the lights back on okay okay the lights are back on that was that was that was horrendous that was atrocious that was honestly like one of the worst <laughs> we're gonna write in this book that says patience refuses to follow extremely simple instructions cannot move eyeballs even a centimeter even when the doctor is literally begging them to Okay, alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see. That kind of wraps up all the ideas that I have. Um, I said we were going to work together, so do you have any other ideas, um, of how we can figure out, like, what's, what's wrong with you? Because, um, to be honest, like, right before this appointment started, I forgot that, you know, we scheduled this for today, clearly. So I actually ordered a Uber Eats. Yeah, so my Uber Eats guy, or my Uber Eats girl, whoever's delivering my Uber Eats, whoever gets blessed with the privilege of delivering my Uber Eats. Um, they're gonna be here, like, in, in a few minutes, I think, like, in five minutes. So we really gotta wrap this up. Uh, didn't have any other ideas. Okay, uh, okay, let's see. What does the doctor test for? In an exam, physical examination. Oh, okay, what do we like consider this a physical examination? I would kind of consider this a physical. What does a physical exam entail? Your doctor will review your appearance for signs of potential conditions. I guess I didn't really do that. Well, I mean, you look fine. Physical exam, touching or palpating parts of your body, like your abdomen, to feel for abnormalities. Okay, I guess. Just don't move. I'm just gonna feel for abnormalities. 
to do that. Your doctor may request a diabetes screen and thyroid screen. I'm not doing that either. Um, if you have increased risk of heart attack, that in this exam room. Okay, how about this? I want you to imagine smelling something, okay? I want you to imagine smelling something. I want you to imagine smelling a rose, okay? Picture a very pretty and nice red rose and imagine smelling it. Okay, can you smell it? Not really. Wait, I guess thinking about it, And everyone's always like, smell the roses, smell the roses. But no one can tell you what roses actually smell like. Let's see, what do roses smell like? Roses have a wide range of complicated smells from floral and tea, almost to spicy food and musky. Musky? That sounds weird. Okay, so, do you think you could smell like floral tea scents? So I'm gonna write it down in my little book. Patient. Very good at imaginative smelling. Lovely. Okay. So, um, that kind of brings us to like the end of the exam. I really don't know what to say about your stomach problem. Um, does it still hurt? Yeah, okay. Headache is worse. I mean, that's not good. Uh, I don't want to just send you home, you know, like totally wasting your time. Let's consult something that never fails me. Okay, this has literally saved so many of my appointments. Chat GPT. Try chat GPT. Let's see. Message. Okay, we're going to message him. We're going to see. I. I am a doctor who is patient, has a tummy, tummy ache. What do I do? Okay. Okay. When the patient presents with a tummy ache, it's important to gather more information. I, I did do that. Okay, it's important to gather more information to guide your assessment and management. Here's a structure to put to help you evaluate and adjust the issue. Okay. When did the pain start? We already did that. Where is the pain located? We already established that you're not going to die of appendicitis. Uh, how long is the pain? I already did this. I told you that I was a pro. Okay. I told you. I told you that I was a pro. I told you. Um, let's see. Um, I mean, you don't want distress to me. Would you say that you're distressed? Kind of. Okay. Um, okay. Differential diagnosis. Uh, you could have gastrointestinal, ga gastro and enteritis. That does not sound like a real thing. Hmm. 
yeah, I don't really like knowing this stuff. Oh, you know what? Management. Okay, how should we manage this? Depending on the diagnosis, uh, which, which we don't know, it's mystery. This might include pain relief, lots of my trusty relief, antacids, antibiotics, or antiemetics. I don't know what that means. Uh, or you could cure it with uh, dietary adjustments. Have you considered that? How is your diet eating those fruits and veggies? Yes, okay. Uh, patient education. Alright, so I'm supposed to discuss lifestyle or dietary changes with you. That seems like it could be offensive. I think I'm not going to do that because I don't think it could be offensive. Um, if the patient has severe symptoms or if the diagnosis remains unclear, it may be appropriate to refer them to a specialist. Music to my ears. Okay, I'm going to refer you to a specialist because I was a little bit out of my pay grade. Of course, um, you will be billed. Ah, uh, yes. You will be billed for today because, uh, I mean, we cover a lot of ground. We established so many things. We established that you're taller than how um, many said? 37 inches. We established we, like, where would he be without me? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna write in this referral. Patient tummy hurts. Help them. Think smiley face. Always end referrals with a smiley face. Now I'm gonna give this to you. Let me just. Okay, alright. I'm gonna give you this. And you're going to give it to uh, the receptionist and she'll know what to do. Uh, it's kind of out of my hands now. It was so great to meet you though, but actually I... Oh. That must be my Uber Eats. Um, if you could just like bring it in on the way out. Yeah. Yeah, I ordered a muffin. Yeah. Chocolate chip, of course. Yeah. So if you, if you just go out there, grab my Uber Eats, bring it back in. Oh, so nice of you. You're so brave even though your tummy hurts. <laughs> it was great to meet you today and though I wish you all the best with um your your various problems. I, I really hope that 